news this week, whether you're on Fox or CNN, is the uh, U.S. is keeping an ISIS kill list. And everything you need to know about ISIS. So what do you think about that, Steve? Are you concerned about ISIS? I'm not even going to answer this. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fucking bullshit. Why like, do you say I'm, that? I'm not going to waste my time being scared over some some monsters that who knows if it's even happening and if it is happening it's financed by the cia and all that yeah, so it's, yeah. It, yeah it's all it's all conjured to keep us in fear and it doesn't me nor the people around me any good for me to be in fear of that stuff so i'm going to continue being a love generator and creating what i need to and sharing that with the world instead of soaking up all the fear of the world i'm going to admit love instead of soaking up fear that's my mentality about it, and I'm not going to waste any effort talking about it. Fear porn. Yeah, fuck that shit. Anybody else? Well, I mean, it's with the news, whenever you try to spy, don't watch the news. Every other week, <laughs> it's a different scare tactic to keep, you know, the mass populations ignorant to real issues that they should really be questioning. <laughs> Like, holy shit, heart disease. Bat salts. That kills way more people <laughs> than ISIS ever did. But Bat salts are your choice. <laughs> But, you know, why don't, why don't we question the, the food industry or the pharmaceutical industry or any of that shit? Yeah. Yeah. Why are we going to these wars to begin with? Yeah. I mean, Here. it doesn't really more. focus on who benefits from this shit. And I'm going to go off on a tangent briefly on what you said. I hope that's okay. Uh, I'll do it. One of the, you know, I just sort of went off on my own tangent at work today when I saw, like, someone talking about, you know, they had a little list out there, you know, you've, everybody's seen it if you've worked in a corporate office where on the table in the kitchen area, there's like a sign up sheet to like buy Girl Scout cookies, right? Which is great, you know, selling Girl Scout. But, you know, back in my day, <laughs> you go door to door and you go and fucking sell the cookies. Yeah. But now, if you did that, people would be like, oh my God, but won't somebody think of the children? And like... What if they get abducted or raped? It's like, if you look at the statistics, those crimes are way down. I did it when I was a kid. No problem. And the original Halloween scare was total bullshit. Oh, yeah. It started, like, there was, I think, even Freakonomics did a study on that. But, like, the thing that got everybody to fear razors was total bullshit. Yep. And it was, like, somebody trying to cover for the kid being overdosed on Uncle Joey's, like, heroin or something. It was like really sinister stuff, and then, yeah, of course. Well, to, to, it's something like there's. I think it's been either. I can't remember if it was zero or two cases ever where someone maliciously, intentionally put that sort of stuff in candy. Or I, I don't think it ever happened actually. But well, I didn't. to jump back off of what you said, uh, in my victimology class when I was going through forensic psychology, um, you know, we did all the studies or whatever. And violent crimes and all those crimes are more likely to happen from someone you actually know than from a stranger. Right. And, <laughs> yeah, and we wonder why we live in a world where maybe not introverted, but there's so much social anxiety, and we're oh, raised yeah. from a very young age to fear that person or oh, don't talk to strangers, this or that. Like, what kind of way is that to raise people? Like, you should be wanting to greet people and and help people. Yeah, because in in a culture that's so fearful of strangers and so fearful of everyone. That's how you get the Nazi Germany type of yeah. event to happen. Yeah. Because no one, because people aren't likely to stand up for their neighbors yeah. going away to who who knows where. We're slowly yeah. building the new anti-Islam case. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> it is. It is. Serious. No, it keeps people divided. Yeah. False evidence appearing real once yeah. again. Right? Instead of a commonwealth. Yeah. Love that neighbor. Community. But we're a Christian nation, Steve. <laughs> Love my neighbor. Oh. Give me money. <laughs> this is a like I, I my this is my favorite subreddit. It's called Not the Onion because it's like supposed to, like you know the Onion, which is a satire, uh, and it's like articles that you're like you're, you cannot be serious. And one of them was this. that I think it was either is it Alabama or Mississippi or, or I can't remember what the state was to be honest, but it was uh, this school district decided that it needed to ban. AP history classes because not only did it make America look bad, but it was uh, making Christianity look bad. It was not furthering Christian values. <laughs> and I was like, is this real? 
<laughs> like, what year is this? It's crazy. Yep. <laughs> That's bad, but I'm sure that AP, A and P class didn't even touch on anywhere near how bad the yeah. US has been. Or yeah. Yeah. They, probably, <laughs> they probably just scratched the surface and got back on the blow back. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so lastly, report how you fared with last week's challenges. First one, try something completely new. Stevie P? Yeah, I dove into that one immediately. The the morning after, I went went to the gym, walked on the treadmill wearing my monkey hat. I got, <laughs> I got some interesting looks from people. That's <laughs> almost a combination of the first one and the second one. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, because I kind of forgot to do the second one. I didn't scream in a public place, but I did weird stuff in public. So. Yeah. Uh, I knocked mine out today. The uh, try something new. We talked about it earlier. I tried Bikram yoga, which is the hot yoga. The thing? hot yoga. Oh my god, was it amazing? <laughs> I'm so sore and drained, and I was just like high leaving the place. It was awesome. Not because you were high when you went there, but like from no, the I went there so yeah. You know, must have put something in the air because I came out a different person. There you go. And then I didn't really scream in public, but. On a day day to day basis, I am constantly singing and dancing in public, everywhere. I just didn't think to scream. <laughs> this is. Uh, so I, I'm gonna do this again because I don't really like my trying something new. But it was interesting, which is that for the first time ever, I didn't buy into the Hallmark holiday of Valentine's Day, and we actually just went and hung out with some friends and played board games, and it was. Nice. All I hoped it could be. <laughs> nice. And it was actually, I mean, you get a lot more out of that than giving some stereotypical flowers and chocolates. Then you get, you know, it's much more enjoyable to spend time with friends and laugh and, you know, all that good stuff. And I did not walk into a public place and scream at the top of my lungs. But you guys misconstrued it for the notes. You're supposed <laughs> to go, yeah! <laughs> like the, which I did today in spite of <coughs> being under the weather. And everybody sort of was shocked, and I just said I was excited to be there. Where was it? At the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> nice. He really likes Chinese, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> then I threw it up after lunch. Come back, chicken! <laughs> but, uh, and then uh, my something news, we're on Valentine's Day. I yelled Merry Christmas to people randomly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was with you. <laughs> He was looking for. <laughs> oh, that's great. You guys had a uh, Valentine's Day walk. Yeah, it was a bromance in the woods. Nice. Very cute. <laughs> bromance in the woods. And last night, was it? I uh, stayed in last night when I would usually go out for some good grass fed burger and some Cabernet, which I like with it. And I did uh, Jets in the hot tub, no alcohol for the third night in a row. And I still feel like shit. <laughs> Must come to an end. <laughs> but uh, so that's it. Is there any other I challenge? A, yeah, I have a new challenge. Oh. So every time someone asks you how you're doing or how your day was, reply with something more creative than just good. I like it. For example, yours the other day. I did one. Oh yeah, I, I had a. This was through text. It wasn't verbal, so it was easier to, to do something like that. But I said it was like a seagull in flight, seemingly ordinary on the surface. But once you really take a good look, it's all inspiring. <laughs> Coming up with that on the spot in person would be awesome. So I'm going to try for one of those. At the office, I said, uh, like a lion chasing a squirrel, strong <laughs> and stealthy. But good. <laughs> uh, that's yeah, kept going. It throws it throws off the the monotony <laughs> that yeah. most people are stuck in. Hmm. I like it. Oh, and by the way, I followed up on your mirror love you challenge. Nice. So I did eventually complete that when I remembered. You didn't break. No, which I was shocked. I mean, I started bawling my eyes out, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, the challenge is to come up with a more creative answer to how's it going and how are you? And to practice it mm -hmm. as often as you mindfully can. How's it going? 
after you told me, I thought of it right away. <coughs> so, all right. Well, thank you, everybody. If you have questions, info at Lifehack Advisors. Are we going to cover Bill Gates at all as a bonus segment or not? Yeah, yeah. we'll do it after. Yeah, cutting some JMK on yeah. that one. <coughs> Cheers. Thank you. Bye.